Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 from my over 8,000 hours of speedrunning the game and from my awesome viewers. There are a handful of cutscenes that were changed for the final release, some because they were likely considered too graphic, but with mods, these can be put back into the game even if they are unfinished. I will first show you the original and then the beta version, starting with the confrontation with Molly during Legal Trouble. Molly! He's a psychopath! Move! Hey, a madman's coming! Stop! Oh, stop! Look out! Ah! Oh, that didn't have to happen! I think you need some help right now! Save me from this murderer! Hey, come on! Move! A madman's hey, 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 coming! Oh, oh, stop! Look out! Didn't have to happen. Oh man, fuck me. Another scene that saw significant changes was the confrontation with the janitor during cleaning out the bureau. Again, I will show you the original and then the beta version. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey. I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Another beta cutscene shows that repossession once ended at Franklin's house rather than the car wash and had a completely different bike. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga. And we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! Rockstar created separate mission complete sounds for Trevor, Michael, and Franklin, and they can still be found in the game files even if they were never used. On the Mission 3's company, Michael meets with Steve, Dave, and Agent Sanchez. While shooting your weapon anywhere near the area causes a mission fail, the game is far more accepting of gunfire from other sources. Lose the locals and let's get on with this. Lose them, I can't show up on the paperwork. Vending machines only have 10 sodas in them. That hit the spot. That 
hit the spot. On Franklin's side mission, Liquidity Risk, he and Dom jump out of a plane. In order to prevent you from being sucked out before you're ready, the plane is actually frozen in the air. Once you jump out, it begins to move again at a slow pace. On the mission Bury the Hatchet, Michael and Trevor each travel to North Yankton. If you play as Michael, during his plane ride you can see the area of North Yankton already loaded into the game. Of course, logically it makes no sense for this to be viewable from Los Santos, especially not in such a glitch state. Your FPS determines how quickly the game considers you to be depleting your jerry can. The more FPS you have, the less distance you can cover while pouring it. This actually has an impact in the game. For Trevor's side mission Surveil Estate, if your FPS is too high, you may be unable to pour a sufficient amount of fuel to reach the gate in order to blow up the barbecue to destroy the home. In single player, it is impossible to remove your weapons once you obtain them except in one instance. On the mission Bury the Hatchet, Michael has all his weapons removed when he takes a plane ride. Normally, when you finish the mission or fail and leave, you are given all your weapons back. However, if you drive to the cemetery, mission fail without dying, and leave the mission, the game will not return your weapons to you. I'd rather hit the weights any day. Whatever. It is possible to get your game into a glitch state. Right after the mission complications, if you switch to Franklin, drive near Michael with his ability, and then switch back to Michael, the game will be stuck in slow motion. Playing with this effect makes it obvious, but I will show a comparison to normal gameplay for your benefit. This effect even persists through getting arrested or wasted, but attempting to use an ammunition removes the effect. On the mission Monkey Business, if you arrive while it is raining, the water inside the facility will act as though it is being hit by rain, despite it being in cover. Using mod showcases this error the best. On the mission Daddy's Little Girl, one of Jimmy's insults towards Michael during the biking section is a reference to Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. You're not button mashing now, kid. <laughs> you ain't got a hope, old timer. You shall not pass! You shall not pass! If you equip Trevor with cargo pants and then start a mission replay for Buy the Book with Michael, Trevor will have no feet for the duration of the mission. Sweet Jesus. The hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Oh, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh. The man who owns it, he works at the consulate. Oh! 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 Not the water! Using the buffered ledge grab glitch explained in episode 35 of my Facts and Glitches series, it is possible to dive into and through the ground. Simply set up a buffered ledge grab against an object that would result in a dive if you climbed over it, then move far enough away that the object despawns and engage the glitch. Shit. 
The lights at this construction yard are very fragile, or the main characters have very durable faces. On the Polito score setup, you are tasked with attracting the bank's attention by triggering the alarm. Oddly, the game considers you to be able to attract attention in the wrong way. Even more strangely, once you trigger the alarm with a bullet, you can freely use an RPG against the bank and it seems the bank no longer cares. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. So that's it for the episode. Thank you for watching. If you have anything that you think would be great for this series, feel free to add it to my Discord. I hope you're all doing well. Ah!